So what I've already done is I've already primed my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I used the Banana Shade from my Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D and I set the concealer. So now what we're going to take is our Jaclyn Hill Palette and I'm just going to be using the third and fourth shades in the first row and I'm going to be taking those in my crease. We're getting a little up close and personal here. So I zoomed you guys in just so you can kind of get a better view of what I'm doing. So now the next shade we're going to take is the third, sh third shade in the second row, which is just a deeper brown. And we're going to place that into the crease. And I've just been taking all of these shades on a Sigma E38 which is just a nice fluffy blending brush and it's really, really good for blending out darker colors. So next we're going to be taking the fourth shade in the last row, which is just a nice deep dark green. Make sure you blow or tap off the excess and just start to place that in the crease. And I suggest taking little, little amounts at a time. So that way <laughs> you're not taking this huge amount and putting it straight on your eye to where you can't blend it out. All right, so now that we have our green laid down and we're starting to look more and more like the Grinch, I'm gonna take the black in the palette, which is just the very, very last shade in the bottom right corner, and we're gonna place that on the outer corner of our eye. Just to kind of deepen up what we already have. I think I forgot to mention, but I'm sure you could probably tell, I have tape here on my eyes and now you'll be able to see why I put the tape down. <laughs> Boom. So now for the fun part. We're going to take our concealer and a little just concealer brush and we're going to carve out our crease. So now that we've cut out our crease and we set it with a powder that's close to our skin tone, I'm going to take the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter in the shade Next to Not. And it just looks like this. And I'm just going to use the applicator that it comes with. I'm going to go right over where we put the concealer and powder. Alrighty, so now all I've done is I've kind of blended out the edges and I added some winged liner. So now next, what we are going to do is I'm going to take this pencil brush from Eco Tools and I'm going to dip into the third shade in the second row. I'm going to blend that on our lower lash line. So next, we're going to take the last shade in the fourth row. I'm going to blend that underneath there as well. Alright, so before I got too crazy with the lower lash shadow, I went ahead and put my foundation and everything on so that way I didn't cover it up whenever I went to do it later. So next up, what we're going to take is the green that we used in the crease. Make sure you tap off the excess and just place that right underneath. So now what I've done is I've taken some cream colored eyeshadow and I popped that in my waterline. Then I took the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit and I took the shade Eclipse, popped that on my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my inner corner. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. And that back. brings us to the end of this video. If you are curious about anything that I have used, it'll all be listed in the description box below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit the little bell to get notified for when I make future videos. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.